Today, we're diving into a common but often misunderstood topic, the difference between acne marks and acne scars. Whether you have red spots or brown spots or actual indentations on your skin, understanding the differences can help you choose the most effective treatment option. So let's get started. First, let's quickly define acne. Acne is a skin condition that occurs when your hair follicles become plugged with oil and dead skin cells. This can cause whiteheads, blackheads, or even pimples, and it can occur anywhere on the body. When the inflammation from the acne clears, it can leave behind a lot of damage and debris, which can result in acne marks or scars, but there's a big difference between the two. Let's start with red marks or post-inflammatory erythema. These are red, pink, sometimes purple marks that are more prevalent in lighter skin tones. This happens because the inflammation from acne causes the blood vessels to dilate. After the inflammation largely clears, those blood vessels still remain dilated, and it takes time for them to shrink back down to their normal size. To treat these red marks, you can use ingredients that help further reduce inflammation in the skin. Ingredients like niacinamide, sulfur, hypochlorous acid, and azelaic acid. It's also important to use a daily SPF to prevent any further damage and redness to your already damaged skin. Next, let's talk about brown spots or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. This condition appears as dark spots that remain after an acne lesion is healed, and it's more common in darker skin tones. When there's inflammation, our melanocytes, or the cells that produce pigment in our skin, they receive a signal to produce even more melanin because they're trying to do anything they can to protect our fragile skin. We treat brown marks with sunscreen to prevent further darkening and ingredients that interrupt the pigment production cycle. Things like vitamin C, lactic acid, and retinol. These will all help to lighten those dark spots and speed up skin cell turnover for a brighter appearance. However, these ingredients are not going to do anything unless you're using a sunscreen every day as well. So it's very important to use SPF or above daily. Now onto true acne scars, where there's an actual change in the texture of the skin. These can be indentations or raised areas, known as atrophic or hypertrophic scars. Specifically, we see atrophic scars like ice pick, box scar, or rolling scars, all resulting from collagen damage during the healing process. There are many treatments we use for acne scars. Because we are treating collagen that's pretty deep in the skin, it's hard to treat those with topicals alone, so we tend to use procedures. Some of our favorite procedures include laser treatment, like fractional CO2 or an erbium laser. They are great for deeper scars because they can do a great job at stimulating collagen production deep down in the skin. We also like microneedling, which involves tiny needles that create micro injuries in the skin, which also stimulates collagen production. You can get up a notch, you can do radiofrequency microneedling, which introduces heat as well. Some common devices are Morpheus 8 or Vivace. Next, chemical peels like glycolic acid or salicylic acid can deeply exfoliate the skin and remodel collagen. If you have deep ice pick scars in particular, we love TCA Cross. This involves using a very strong acid deposited into the tiny little ice pick scar. We usually deposit it with a very fine needle tip so it can effectively remodel the collagen below that very precise area. For ice pick or boxcar scars, we can also use filler to plump up the skin. There's also subcision, which is when we use a needle to break up the fibrous bands that's causing that indentation in the skin, so that can help further smooth out the surface. There's also punch excision, which we use for very deep scars which is when we use a device that looks like kind of like an apple core to remove that little scar and then stitch it together. This will smooth over the surface and then we can further make it even smoother with a laser treatment on top of that. So while we have a lot of tips and tricks for treating acne marks and acne scars, the most important thing to remember is that prevention is always better. Try to treat your acne early to prevent more severe breakouts. Everybody scars differently, so some people, they scar very minimally, and other people, through no fault of their own, their scars are more pronounced, and they can get scars even with very mild acne. If you're unsure of your treatment, 
go to your friendly neighborhood dermatologist. We're always happy to see you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for skincare advice. Thanks for watching.